Hey guys, what's up? I've got another video tutorial for you guys today. Uh, I know it's been quite a while since I've done an actual full build tutorial, but today I've got something special for you guys. Since I have recently hit 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube, so thank you guys so much for that. So I figured I would do an actual new Red Hood Armor uh, full tutorial. And also the templates will be available in my Etsy shop, and I'll link that down below. Also make sure you guys like and subscribe, and share with somebody who cares with this video. But let's get to it. Uh, one thing I didn't record earlier was this uh, neck piece and how this attaches to it. Uh, this neck piece is made from neoprene that I made like three years ago. And I just used contact cement for all the seams uh, to this it's easier and I couldn't sew at the time. So contact cement works. And uh, this is basically how long it's about one strap and the neck piece. Also just attached it with Velcro here at the top. I'll show you in just a second. But I don't exactly need to take it off. See that this slips on. And you got your elastic buckles. And it just goes around like that. And clips. And that's all there is to that. I will be adding probably that gloss over this. And of course I'll be adding the emblem on there. I based this emblem off of the uh, Gotham Knights, that new video game, Red Hood Emblem. It's not exactly like it, but it's close enough for my liking. And I'll just be super gluing that on there. Uh, this the emblem is made from four millimeter foam. Uh, when I made this, I actually didn't have any four millimeter on hand, so I took two sheets of two millimeter foam and spread glued them together, and then cut them out, deformed it, and four millimeter. Here we are. Uh, these diamond pieces, uh, these are not actually included in the templates, but if you wanted to make these, I took the template and basically traced out this little portion on each uh, point and then uh, cut it with an inward angle at the steepest angle I could possibly get to get that uh, look to it. And of course I heat formed it with a little bit of curvature for the chest so it's easier to glue on. And it'll go on there just like that. And I do have patterns for the neck piece in the Etsy shop as well. Uh, those are for fun. But if you want to use it for neoprene, you could. And you can use contact cement uh, for that when you uh, do the neoprene. I uh, can't remember if it's a two way stretch, but you want to make sure that it's going to stretch out of your neck. And like I said, I made this three years ago and it is holding up strong. But if you don't, uh, you know, glue the chest to the neck piece, that's all personal preference. I just actually just used uh, Velcro. Right there. At the center and at this side. Just like that. And I did that because I'll probably be using this neck piece for other uh, cosplays as well, not just uh, this new red hood. But yeah, there's that. And like I said, this thing just slips right off my head. There's no zipper, no Velcro that holds the thing together. It's just neoprene. Like I said, you can tell that I just used contact cement for the seams. Yeah, that's the, uh, the best way to hold up this armor would be with the neck piece, and you can make one out of foam, you know, super easy. And just put Velcro along the, the front, of course, fun pieces on this part. 
so that way you don't have to worry about straps going under your shoulders, you don't have to worry about a back piece. All you gotta worry about is one single strap going around right there just like this, and it's quick and easy. But without further ado, let's get to the video. All right, and here we're gonna start off with the chest piece. I'm using a wood burner to burn in the V-groove undercut lines on the chest. I like to use a wood burner because it's a lot quicker than using contact cement. You wanna go about half to three quarters way through the foam and fold the foam pieces together while it's still hot. So that way it just melts it together. No glue is needed for that section. For the chest, I use eight, eight millimeter craft foam or EVA foam from TNT Cosplay Supply. And you're gonna want two, uh, I'm gonna call these underburns on the ab pieces as well. And for the sections that get glued together on the chest, uh, I use DAP Weldwood Contact Cement. I line up the edges first, and then I push in the lower part to make it bend. Apply the contact cement on the lower chest and the bottom of the upper chest. And the uh, top of the, or excuse me, the bottom part of the upper chest is cut in an inward angle cut. And the section of the top chest that is hanging down is also cut in an inward angle cut. You'll push it together, line up your hash marks, and fold it. And then for the center part, I just grabbed a scrap piece of eight millimeter foam cut into a square, glued it down the middle. You wanna make sure you have a little bit of excess down at the bottom so that way you can glue on the uh, zero ab piece. Apply a contact cement and push it together. You want to make sure you wait about two to five minutes for the contact cement to become tacky. And right there is where that piece will go. You supply some contact cement on both pieces. You might want to cut the corner off to make it flat so it'll hold better. And you just push it and that sucker ain't coming off. And for the abdominal piece, I use super glue and little bits of elastic. Uh, the length of elastic I use is about an inch in length. And I just super glue it in between each piece. I start off with gluing the center pieces together first. So that way I can get a nice even line down the middle. And then I work on the two rib pieces. Now you just get some, another piece of elastic and glue the bottom onto the uh, middle piece in two sections. And do the same for the top. And then you will do the same, connecting the number one ab piece to the chest piece as well. Uh, that one does take a little bit longer of uh, elastic strips. And I'd say, I don't say probably it's closer to an inch and a half or two inches of elastic. Combining the two. And the chest piece is completed. And now I'm gluing that bit on. I use four pieces of elastic to glue the abs onto the chest. I use one at the very end of the number one ab piece on each end and near the middle just so it looks more aesthetically pleasing. And again, just line up the end of your number one ab piece to the end of the chest piece. You can do that on each side and then do 
the two middle parts of the number one, or you can start from the middle and work your way out. It's uh, personal preference. But that completes the video, or completes the putting together of the armor. And here I should use super glue for the emblem. And I had already painted it and gluing it on. All right, guys, well, that does it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, went ahead and put together a little bit of how it's going to look like with the jacket and everything. Uh, I thought about adding some armor pieces to the neck, but seeing with the jacket, I kind of like it plain, so I think I'll leave it like this. But of course, you can always add a little more armor to the neck if you wanted. For the templates, will be down in the description below. This is it. So you can tell I went ahead and put a gloss coat on it and I, that'll damage it. I like it. But all right guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And remember, there are no mistakes in cosplay, only battle damage. You guys have a great one.